lick it? Where did you lick? I don't want to lick it. <laughs> hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. We are not at the Ponderosa, as you can tell. We got a good friend here, Carson from Redmond, my beautiful wife, Marissa, and all of our influencer friends back here. We are in Redmond, Utah, down two miles. Two miles. Two tunnel. miles in this specific tunnel. And we are basically looking at what our bison consume right here. We've got minerals, salt minerals. I don't know, cars can explain it better, but we're down here taking a look at it. And you can literally go up and lick the salt straight from the wall. And uh, this is the stuff that our bison eat and consume, lick, whatever you want to say, um, right here from these mines. So I guess it would be the mine. You need to try it. Yeah, you better lick it. Let's oh, yeah. Video Which, this one right here? Yep, just lick the wall. This looks pretty dusty. The dust so, is salt. All this is... Everything just is salt. Okay. And your name is Dusty. <sighs> That's true, it is. <laughs> well, let me find a spot. Let me get... Here. I'll stop this. I'll... Isn't that who you wanted to see? Yeah. Didn't you want to see your one of your favorites? Big Joe. <laughs> you want to pet him? Uh, I don't know about that one. You like Dunbar too, but he's in another pasture. Come here, Big Joe. <laughs> Look who came to see us. It's Big Joe. And uh, one of Brooks's favorites. She also likes Dunbar. Not a huge fan of Haas. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the herd is up here close, and we thought we would come out here. And we wanted to tell you about Marissa and I's recent trip to Redmond, Utah. We got invited out there to a influencer summit where we had a great time. We met lots of great people, not only influencers, but Redmond as a whole. The reason we hook up with Redmond and that we work with Redmond is because of these guys right here. These guys, it's important for them to get good minerals. And there's no better place. What, babe? Um, there were flies. Hmm? Huh? There were flies on Big Joe's There were flies on him? Yeah, no, we need to get those flies, don't we? <laughs> we do. Well, Redmond has products to help the flies. <laughs> but the reason that we uh, work with Redmond is because of the trace minerals. And there's no other place that has better, better minerals for livestock animals such as the bison here um, and we believe in it and whenever you so marissa and i got to go there and can't wait to tell you about it here is how our three-day trip to redmond to the actual salt mine where we get our bison 90 that we put out um, for these animals is where it came from marissa and i flew from oklahoma city to salt lake utah to get it all started so harvey picked marissa and i up from the airport along with another couple trent and mariah yep. well, the first thing that we did is we made a trip to one of redmond's farm stores actually they have four farm stores it's kind of a farm to market grocery store slash cafe yeah and so we had a sort of a brunch lunch there we all were able to come together the first night at actually the owner of Redmond, him and his family. We were invited to their home. We had a chef prepared meal with everybody and it was such a great time. Way to kick everything off mm -hmm. and meet all the other influencers that were there. So one of the next things that we did, got some rest from the long day. The next day we headed, well, we got breakfast first yeah. from Redmond from the, one of their uh, Redmond stores. And then we headed to the actual salt mine and we were pumped to actually go see where these trace minerals that we use for our bison actually come from. So we headed to the mine with everybody. Oh. <laughs> you shove the camera in your face. You're supposed to load up. Yeah, just get on there. Oh man, that poor guy bit the dust. Yeah, somebody ran him over. <laughs> a little nervous. We had to sign a waiver before we went down there, which also makes you a little bit nervous um, to, to go down into a mine and you gotta kind of sign your life away before you do it. But there we uh, went down into the mine. She puts the 
Salt. Even the stuff on the ground. Even the stuff on the ground. Get you a big lick of it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Need a drink of water? No, that was salty though. <laughs> So the fact that you can see that is standing on its end is proof that it has been pushed up. It's been altered and changed and pushed up. Uh, if you want to follow me over here where we've been it, uh, flakes you see in it is those minerals. The chlorides would be, you know, the white. The color is the minerals. Uh, Get a piece like this you can see you know the color throughout it but put a lamp to it you guys are probably all familiar with uh, himalayan salt lamps same type thing here um, in the united states the fda you have to have 97 percent sodium chloride and three percent minerals so you actually have to test it and yeah see well what... we know where it is so the ag salt has higher percent minerals in it so it's going to be a little lower in salt so it's going to be like 90 93% salt, 7% minerals. Mm -hmm. So like this big white streak right that, here. That's all salt. And that's then you see the salt. minerals. You see the minerals in there? Is the red darker? Color? Yeah, the darker okay. is going to be minerals. So okay. you like some of the minerals will come different colors. Like black is manganese. So like this stuff is pretty dark here. Yeah, that's going to be mineral. That's all mineral. Yeah. And then you look at this and you're like, oh, well, that's mostly salt. Salt. So can he take like a chunk of this and put it out for his animals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's basically what they do. Yeah, all we do is, so like Bison 90, its base is this salt. So what we do is we get this, we run it through a crusher to break down the rocks to make the fine stuff. Yeah. So that's why that's why Bison will actually eat Bison 90. Because most salt is just super bitter because it's just sodium and salt. Chloride. But in our salt, there's all these other minerals that have like a sweeter taste that you notice from our salt. That's why animals, you put our salt versus white salt, they'll eat our salt because the minerals taste better and they crave to have the minerals. Yep. They're deficient. In it. They're deficient. They yeah. need it. And they animals are really good at pulling. You guys gotta get this done. Is he pulling down here? Oh, no. I was like, once in a while the 70 ton dump truck will drive uh, by. Can we, if, you know, if we lug this rock home, yeah, could. we could, they'd be on that for maybe a oh, couple yeah. of years. Yes, they would. <laughs> Maybe throw one in the back of my truck. Yeah, we could. That. You just, that means you just have to drive to Oklahoma. So all this, what we're walking on, is salt. All of this right here. Pretty wild. Pretty salty. Oof. Man. Salty. Yeah. I need some water. Well, I, I drink way too much. I have way too much. You see how much I got when I licked it? Yeah, you did. It, like, All right, it's your turn, hon. What, me? Yeah, you gotta oh, go lick it. I'm the star of the show. Oh, about that. You really want me to lick it? Where did you lick? I don't want to lick in the same uh, spot. That's okay. In Just pick a spot. A, in case I catch a weird disease. So this is really salty, and then you're getting some minerals there. So yeah. what, right there. try whatever. Okay. 
right, it's, it's all oh, there. Yeah. It's salt. It is salty, but it's not like it's, aggressive. Well, maybe try this part. Try there? I don't know. Am I can just going to lick all the places on this wall? Or <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird, but. Oh, it is salty. I'm that sure. It does taste different than that dark spot. Yep. For sure. We've got to work on Carson's shirt. If you guys know any shirts out there, this is a cinch shirt, but we've got to work on trying to get some with bison on it. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. We picked up some rocks for Brooks. Oh, good. There's just little chunks of them here. So the dark places, a lot of this rock, I'm like wiping it off. But So a lot of you may know or may not know about mining salt but this salt comes from from our minerals bison 90 that we get from Redmond and we give to our bison it comes directly from these tunnels right here it's not taken up and evaporated there's no not use of water there's no chemical treatment on this salt it is literally grinded right off the wall they're over here taking a look at I guess the correct term would be grinding it off the wall um, they'll blast it a little bit you can kind of see some of the holes here but different parts of this mine of this specific tunnel there's lots of tunnels here but this one we're two miles deep parts of it is where they get their Redmond life products from which is the relight that you can drink uh, and the food salt that you can use at your dinner table and um, they have lots of great products so you have the Redmond life products and then you have the agriculture side of it um, which is most of the dark minerals that you see kind of over here in some of these places where they use for trace minerals and uh, what's great about Redmond and the salt right here is there's over 60 minerals in the salt and uh, that's a great thing about it so whenever you buy from Redmond um, and when our when our bison are getting trace minerals like the bison 90 um, they're getting not just sodium chloride not just the salt they're getting over 60 trace minerals from this specific mine and you can see it I'm carrying these a couple of chunks of the salt around for Brooks and uh, to take home to show off that's what's awesome about this is we're not just it's not just a salt block there are lots of trace minerals that are very healthy for our animals and yes we came all the way to Utah. We we're out at, invited out here from these awesome Redmond people. And there's about 10 couples of influencers that um, do all kinds of different stuff. And we're all taking a tour down here in the mine. And um, so far, awesome. Awesome thing. A little, uh, you know, a little claustrophobic knowing that you're, uh, you know, two miles deep in it. They've structured these walls and taken out so much of it where they leave it structurally sound every time that they are going in a tunnel and mining it but this is beautiful and uh, millions of years of deposits salt deposits here from the ancient seas that were over the western half of the united states millions of years ago have left these salt deposits here and these awesome minerals that we can consume not only for us but what's just awesome for our animals so really want to thank redmond for doing what they do and this is really really cool so we spent about 30 minutes inside a tunnel and I, we were just amazed with everything and the fact that you could just go up and lick the walls and uh, speaking of that we appreciate kyle um for telling us the story about ozzy osborne actually came in this tunnel and showed us a place where he actually licked the wall and i think he was uh as part of one of his episodes of ozzy coming in there and actually got to use some equipment and <laughs> and was actually mining some of the salt off the walls and uh it was a crazy story so but we did appreciate kyle but i think he's one of the longest employees that's been at redmond and uh for all of his amazing experience and knowledge of the mine give me your thoughts so one of the next things that we did is we got out of the mine and uh, we came out of the mine and something else that was fun and exciting that we really were looking forward to doing is Marissa got to shoot a gun with a, a rifle for the first time. I mean, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind of. Not, not a big gun gal. So. Yep. But uh, everybody had a little, we had a little shooting competition and everybody got to shoot a 223. Got to shoot four targets 
and uh, I hit two out of four. Marissa hit two out of four. Right, again, that was good practice. It did that to me earlier. I did, Are you didn't... trying to give me a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> just do that again. That was, that was pretty, pretty Just cool. breathe and pull the trigger. Nice and slow. Up, babe. And uh, it was fun, had a little competition there, had a great lunch, and uh, then we got to do the highlight of the shooting part is I got to light off the cannonball. Fire in the hole! <laughs> oh, it's going. Oh, watch out. From there, we continued on our tour. We went to their actual dairy, where uh, they actually have their own dairy here at Redmond. And they use the trace minerals and other products, such as conditioner, with their dairy cows. Carson led us through that tour. And then whatever they're eating out on the in the pastures, okay? Um, our mineral program is all Redmond salt and clay, our conditioner. So you can see, like... Uh, oh, they use uh, the garlic. And the garlic That's salt year-round. That's what they use, garlic year-round. So, um, so as you can see, the ration, if you, if you were to go to a normal dairy, the ration would be majority grains. And ours is going to be mostly just high, high quality forage. Yeah, so like look at this forage. This is not normal dairy forage. Mm -hmm. Like you can see a little tiny bit of barley. That's mostly just alfalfa that's on their ration. And the rest, you know, you can see they planted pasture. So right now they're keeping them off the pasture to grow it out right there behind. That pasture looks good. I just looked good. It was my seed selection that made that pasture. two lactations. Where ours will have four to five, six lactations. So they have a lot longer longevity, a better quality of life because they're not just getting pushed for high production. So it's really cool. So you saw our TMR mixer, that's where we mix our feed. Um, really basic in it. I hope there's nothing too exciting here. So, see. Okay. That's where they are. Once we left the dairy, got an awesome tour there from Carson, it was time to get in the classroom and actually learn more about the influencer side and the marketing side of Redmond. Really get down to business and see how Redmond is structured. After the classroom, we went into the warehouse, I guess you would call it, where the minerals are actually brought in and bagged up and sorted huge warehouse and they're about to expand more but this is where they actually pull out the minerals they separate the salt depending on what product it is and bagging up the trace minerals into the proper bag and mixing up their minerals whether it's selenium 90 whether it's a sheep and goat trace mineral um, this is where they do all of that right here and actually bag it up and it is shipped out from right here at the salt mine so we have a big a big roller out there that'll like you put the salt through and it lets different sizes out. And, it'll come in this and the guys in the mill will push off different sizes. We did a little shopping, had some uh, downtime, and I got my first felt hat right there at the Burns Hat Place in Park City, Utah. And um, you may be seeing me wear that hat a little bit more as it's cooling off. Anyways, we had a good time all together. I really, really want to thank Redmond. First of all, if you guys see I'm wearing this shirt, give more than you take. I just want to say something about that. Um, Harvey, the guy who picked us up from uh, the airport uh, and, and chauffeured us around and took their time out um, during their busy work schedule, during the work week, just the people are awesome. And he gave us, or he was wearing the shirt when I first saw it and um, and we were able to get this shirt, and I said, man, I really love that, and, and uh, not only can you, you can really apply that to just life, not just the salt mine, okay, and everything that Redmond has going on, but just to life in general, okay, you can give more than you take. I think that's important. There's a lot more going on than just salt, right, and the products that Redmond has created same thing in life right we need to try to give more 
then we take. I always try to give back. And so I believe in this shirt. I love it. I love wearing it. And I think it says a lot about Redmond and and the culture that they've created there. And so I want to thank Harvey. I want to thank Carson. Marissa and I have become uh, close friends with Carson now. And um, so I just, uh, we're very thankful for those guys for being with us the whole time. They did a great job at the Influencer Summit for 2023. Marissa and I had a great time and we are ready to go back to Redmond. We'd go right now. And you know, the great thing about all of this is it's for these animals out here, right? Those animals out here, their health is important. And what if they're not getting from Mother Nature, what they're not getting from the surface, right, and, and the soil, they can get from those trace minerals, right? And so we use bison eye, we believe in it, and our animals like it too. And that's the most important thing. If the animals like it and it's being consumed, then you know goodness is going in them. And so we like that. We really enjoyed our trip and uh, the people there and the influencers that are there as well. Such great people all around. Thank you, Redmond. Thank you, Carson and Harvey and everybody else and Rhett and his family. Give more than you take. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon. Um, I don't have any. None? This is Dusty from <laughs> Bison. Dusty Baker from Costa Bison. We are not at the Ponderosa. We are the Oh, that would really like to cut your head off on that one. I don't know what else to say. Short. Way short.